Fine. Ground surfing. I know you. All right, ready? Yeah. All righty. What a starter. Hey, Ben, how was that for you today? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm actually feeling good. It was like, uh, I don't know. I like, this is the first race for the indoor season for me. Um, you know, I just moved over to Charlottesville and started showing with you guys full time. And, uh, you know, it's it's been awesome. I mean, it's a great group. So today was honestly just a test where the legs were at. And I told Fox, I was like, he's like, how are you feeling? And I was like, I'll get to the bell and find out that. And fortunately, it felt good. Opened up and it was enough today. Perfect. Were you looking for a specific time or just a win? Um, I mean, coming to this, my PR was 804, so <laughs> I wanted to break that. And I'm Canadian, I've been running 3Ks for a long time, so I've always wanted to go get a sub 8. So, the, the best case scenario, I was going to run 75 or faster. And went faster than that, so I'm really happy. You mean, cross that, you ran 748, right? Yeah, I don't know, did I? What is 748? 748, yeah, yeah, I mean, I can't believe it. Uh, like. It's, it, it's, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I can't believe that it's my time now, so I'm pumped. Yeah, everything's going so well for you. I mean, last year was more longer stuff, and now 3K, like, you just feel like you're in the right group, or what? Yeah, I mean, like, this year was important for me because the summer was kind of like riding this wave of, like, breakthrough, hot streak, all those things. And this year, it's like, okay, mindset's got to shift. I'm professional. Like, that's the expectation now, right? So this fall was all about, like, okay, get get rid of the mindset that's, like, that, that was the best season of your life because this needs to be the normal now. So coming to a race like this, I just wanted to make sure I came in like a professional and it was a good field. I just want to compete with those guys. And like I said, fortunately, I think just felt great today. Yeah, is this the first time you're sort of doing Chris's work? And I transitioned, so I was finishing my degree in Michigan, right. that's why I took so long to move to Charlottesville, but uh, I was training remotely under their style um, all through the fall. So since January is just when I was doing it with the guys, like being part of it as well. You got a taste of it when you were you know, training in Michigan, but getting his workouts. How cool was it? And talk about the group when you finally came in and got to see all the boys and see everything. It's cool. Like, it's amazing. I, I came in, everyone was fit. So like, you know, Fox had high expectations. He said, all right. Why don't you go hop in some 600s with Justin Knight and Corey Campbell? And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, these are guys I looked up to my whole career, and now to actually compete with, like, not compete with, <laughs> work out with them, train with them, um, and and try to compete at the level they're at, and, and all of us, you know, bring, bring the best of each other. It's a really, really cool experience. What's next? Um, I'm running Milrose. So I'm so excited that I got in. You're in 3K, you're in 3K? Yeah, I'm in 3K here. So I like I've never run in the armory. This is the first time. When I heard I got in Milrose, I was like psyched. So that's what's up next. And you know, all my whole family's coming to watch. Everyone's excited. How was your experience running at the armory today? Amazing. It was so cool. I uh, you know, I asked a lot of questions because <laughs> everyone's been here. It seems like everyone's been here except for me today. <laughs> so I was asking, I was like, where's the check-in? Are we doing a stride on the track? All this stuff. But it was good to get used to the environment. And, you know, Fox was telling us for the race, like, this is to test the waters. Mill Rose is where we really want to be on. So I'm really happy that I got a feel for it today. But the track's beautiful. It was really nice. Definitely have uh, be a lot more comfortable going into Mill Rose after with a big win already at the Armory, huh? Yeah, 100%. So, um, I mean, I, I'm surprised I can be more excited than I was before this, but I am. <laughs> Season as a whole, I mean, you got to think about Worlds and that sort of stuff for the first time, like... 5K, 10K, have you thought about that? or? Yeah, I mean, that was uh, honestly great right when I started communication with Fox. We like outlined the expectations really clearly, and it's like, hey, we're here to make world championships, you know, represent our country is the goal. So the goal is to make, you know, Doha and a 10,000 meter, and then everything's working back from there. So um, we haven't gone too far long term in terms of what the schedule is going to be, but in general, everything's prepping, you know, to run under 2740 because that's what I got to do make the team. Yeah, what's your PB? In a 10K? Yeah. Uh, 2834. So at NCAAs. So, uh, I mean, you're a completely different runner from that. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. I hope so. So I, I've got confidence, you know, 2740 feels more realistic than it ever has before. And I mean, honestly, if things go well, I want to run a lot faster than that. So What's your 5K, PB? Uh, 1348. So this indoor season is going to be trying to smash all those PRs, you know, really come into the, the outdoor season with as an entirely different athlete with an entirely different resume. Yeah, you need to break them both in one race. Yeah. 5K and 10K, you can do it. That'd be nice. Seriously. Yeah. That's a good point. Yep. I, I guess I have to. Chris, if you're listening, don't let him run a 5K until he runs a 10K. <laughs> yeah, so thank right. you guys for having me.